Last Thursday at the upper room, the Lord removed His outer garment. On Good Friday at Calvary, the Lord was stripped of His garments. And on Easter morning, they did not find the body of the Lord in the tomb, but the linens were neatly folded, and the linen that covered the head was folded separately from the other linens that covered the body. What's with the Lord? On Thursday in the upper room, he removes his outer garment. On Friday at Calvary, he is stripped of all his garments. And then on Easter morning, he leaves the linens that wrapped him. We do not know how he left the tomb, but the linens that wrapped him were neatly folded, and the linen that covered the head was neatly folded separated from the longer, bigger linen. What is the meaning of this? Peter saw the linens, John saw the linens, and then they understood. What is the meaning of the risen Lord living His burial linens? What is the meaning of the risen Lord removing the, the, the linen that covered his face and folding it neatly on the tomb, and then he was no longer there. There are three meanings. The first meaning, pushing it back centuries earlier, the priests went to the temple to atone for the sins of humanity, to atone for the sins of the people. After the sacrifice is done, after the lamb is offered, after the blood is poured forth, there is a belief that the atonement has been completed. And what does the priest do inside the temple? I say, inside the temple, inside the Holy of Holies. Ano ang gagawin niya? Tatanggalin niya yung kanyang damit sapagkat pinatawad na ang lahat ng kasalanan. So, when the Lord removed the burial cloths, when the Lord removed the linen that covered His dead face, and he is now risen. He removed it because the new temple is the tomb. He removed it because the eternal priest is the Lord. And therefore, we do not need to offer anything for atonement of sins anymore because the atonement offering has been completed. And the sign that it has been completed is the priest has removed his vestment. Tapos na. On Good Friday, we heard the words, It is finished. Actually, it is the obedience that has been completed. But the completion of the atonement of our sins is the resurrection of Christ. In other words, leaving the linens, leaving the linen that covered the face, is a sign that the atonement is now perfect. Perfect. No more need for other offerings because the atonement is now perfected and the priest has already removed these vestments eternally because the atonement for our sins has been completely, perfectly offered. The second meaning of the linens in the tomb and then the linens, the linen neatly folded on the other side is this. 
They concocted a fake news. They concocted a fake news that said the body was stolen. Now, if the body was stolen, why were the linens folded? Did the robbers fold it? Ang alam ko, kapag nagnanakaw ka, nagmamadali ka. Kasi baka ka mahuli. Pero nakatiklop ng maayos, hindi nagmamadali, at may bakat pa ng dugo. Kung ikaw yung magnanakaw ng bangkay, nanakawin mo ba yung bangkay ng walang takip? At kung tinanggal mo yung takip, ititiklop mo ba yun? Kung gusto mo lang talagang nakawin yung bangkay, you will get the cadaver and run away with the cadaver as quick as you can unless somebody catch you doing the robbery. So, the folded linen is a sign that the body was not stolen. The folded linen is a sign that the one who used it folded it because he was not in a hurry. The thieves are always in a hurry because they're afraid to be caught. And the risen Lord was not in a hurry because he was now living timeless time. He was now living timelessness and eternity. The third meaning of this is it is now the time for the Lord Jesus no longer to be vested by clothes woven by human hands. Ang ibig sabihin, sa upper room, tinahi ng tao ang kanyang damit. Sa Calvary, gawa ng tao ang kanyang damit. Sa libingan, binalot siya ng tela na gawa ng tao. But because the perfection of the atonement is now completed, and because the body was not stolen and the proof is that the linens are folded, what is the third P? Jesus does not need clothes woven and sewn by human beings because the Lord is now clothed by the power of God Himself. And He will not be naked anymore. He will never be naked. He will never be stripped anymore because He is now clothed by the power of the Father Himself. It is a deep mystery. Gabing gabi, nagtuturo ako sa inyo ng theology. Pero yun talaga yung ibig sabihin noon. Tatlong salita para sa atin kung bakit ang tela ay nakatiklo. Number one, perfection of atonement. Number two, proof that the body was not stolen. And number three, power. That is the new covering of Jesus. That is the new vestment of Jesus. The power, the glory of God. And He does not need clothes, textiles, linens woven by men and women because He is now clothed with the glory of God. And then you ask me, Okay, I understand. Perfect atonement. Okay, I understand. Proof that there was no robbery. Okay, I understand that He is now clothed by the power of God. And then the question is, Eh, ano? Eh, ano? Ang ibig sabihin ng Easter ay ganito. Kung hanggang ngayon, ang nagdadamit sa iyo ay gawa-gawa ng tao. Kung hanggang ngayon, ang kapangyarihan mo ay pera na gawa ng tao, titula ng lupa na gawa ng tao, bangko na ginawa ng tao, 
damit na ginawa ng tao, gaano man yan kamahal, magising-gising ka na kasi mawawala lahat yan because the only vestment that should matter to us is that at the appointed time, God will consider us to be clothed by Him. God will consider us suitable, worthy to be clothed, not by human clothes, not by money, prestige, and power, to be clothed by the power, by the love, by the mercy of God. Ngayon ang tanong, Ano ang suot mong damit? Hindi yung damit na pantakip sa katawan. Ano ang tunay mong suot na damit? What are you really wearing now? Just clothes? Made by human hands? It is time for you to aspire to be clothed by no one else by God, but God. It is time for you to dream that the clothes given to Jesus will be yours too, even now. <laughs>